Right then, are you ready? So this time, um, there's a number in front of the x squared and the coefficient of n is 1. I need to take that out as a factor first. So I need to take out a as a factor first, which is what it says there in step 1, so I'm not going to write that. So I want two lots of it'll be x squared plus six x or minus five. So that works as that's two x squared plus twelve x minus five. And now I want to do completing the square on the blue part. So that'll be so you've got double brackets going on, so I've got x plus 3, because I half the 6x squared. Square it, take away is a 9, so that all goes inside that bracket there. So that's step 1, step 2. So I expand your bracket, so it now becomes 2 lots of x plus 3 all squared minus 18 minus 5, and then tidy up. 2 lots of x plus 3 squared minus 23 there. Whew. So we've done that. People get so puddled with this middle bit here. So please be ridiculously careful with that. So you're just doing it on these first two terms. You take out the a and then you do complete the square. Ideally, do it in different colours so it stands out. So there's another one here for us. So if I rewrite this one as minus x squared plus 10x plus 4, so this is the part that I'm going to take out the factor. So my a is minus 1, so I'm going to take out minus 1 as a factor. And then I want some nice square brackets there. So that'll be x squared minus 10x with a plus 4 there. So then I want to do completing the square on the bit in the blue. It's got double brackets going on. So x minus 5, half it. Square it, take away, minus 25, with a plus 4. We're in our room here, aren't we, Alexa? Then I need to expand my brackets. So, so minus x minus 5 all square, plus 25, plus 4, and tidy it up. There we go. I'll do B and then we can look at the questions for you. So if I do the question for you for this one, make sure you've got it the same. There. I'll be careful with it. Look, see, because it's a 3, you've got a 3 over 2. Which, when you square it, is a 9 over 4. So you've got to be careful with that one. Right, let's have a look at this one. Then. So I'm going to take out the 3 as a factor. So I've got x squared plus 5 over 3x minus 3. And then I'm going to do completing the squared on the blue bit. So that's going to be an x. And then a half the 5 over 3 gives me 5 over 6. Then I have to square the 5 over 6 and take it away. And then I want to expand the bracket. So 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared minus, I could write it as 75 over 36, but it's nicer to write it as 25 over 12. And then 3 is the same as 36 over 12, isn't it? So I've got minus 25 minus 36 is minus, is that minus 61? So 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared minus 61 over 12. There we go. One more here. Let's have a look at this one. So you've got to take out the 5. So you've got a 4 over 5. Do the, so you've got 4 over 5 there. Do your completing the square. So you've got a minus 2 over 5. Square it is a minus 4 over 25. Multiply the 5 through gives you a minus 4 over 5. 7 is the same as 35 over 5, so I've got minus 4 plus 35 is plus 41 over 5. So that's that page done. That's the end of your page 3, I think. Right. Do I go on? That's the question.
I'll show just do another one. I might do another video, so you're only in five minutes.